Hello and welcome to an episode of Groningen Effect. My name is Bobby and today I'm going to show you around one of the most popular party places in Groningen, Vera. There barely isn't a student in town who hasn't been here at least once and there is a very good reason for that. Also, if you're new in town, I advise you to remember the name because I'm sure you're going to be visiting it quite soon. But for now, let's go in and check it out. Nowadays, Vera is known as the place for international pop underground. However, it's not simply a club, it's also a concert hall. Every week, there are up to three or even four concerts that take place here, mostly in the style of pop, rock, punk, jazz, alternative, techno, or sometimes even reggae. However, nearly every music style is welcome here. And throughout history, popular bands such as U2, Pearl Jam, Nirvana, The White Stripes, or Franz Ferdinand have performed on the stages here. So I guess it's quite safe to say this place has a lot of rich history. This is the first place that you're probably going to visit when you enter Vera, the wardrobe. It will cost you 50 cents to leave your jacket, but I assure you the price is very worth it. Also, you can notice around me all the posters that are hanging on the walls. It is interesting to know that Vera is actually one of the last places around here that prints their own posters, and when you walk around, you're gonna see them at every wall. There are two bars inside Vera, the Hrotezal, which means big hall, where usually the bigger concerts are organized. And there is, of course, the Kelder Bar. And for those of you who don't speak Dutch, Kelder means basement bar. It is a bit of a smaller bar, which much cozier atmosphere where usually smaller concerts or other small events take place. So let's go check it out. So here we are at the Kelder Bar. As you can notice, it differs quite a lot from the atmosphere upstairs. Dark colors, with dark corners, and normally, people can come here just for a drink. Although, there are often concerts, smaller concerts being organized here, or contests, or small games. Also, for people who are smokers, like me, there is the smokers room, which I'm sure you'll appreciate a lot. However, for now, I suggest we leave the darkness behind and go back up to the light to check out the Hrotezal. Here we are back in the main hallway. And behind me, you can see the Hrotezal which is the main center of Vera. However, before we go in there, I'm gonna show you upstairs. Here we are at another high point in Vera. This is the place where the poster magic happens. If you remember, when we walked around the hallways or we entered the wardrobe, all the walls were covered in posters. Well, this is where they're being handmade. This is also the most desired job in the club and it's not easy to get it. And now, we're standing at the very top of Vera, about to enter the private accommodation for the performing artists. Let's go check it out. There is a total of four rooms and nine beds. The decision to build this inn was taken in 1998 and it proved to be a very good one. Now, the artists can come and take a break immediately after their trip and they have no need to go to a hotel. Also, the staff, pro the staff provides meals, breakfast, cleaning, so basically the artists can stay here the whole time they're in the city. And every room, as you may notice, has a very specific character. So here we have the green room, across the hall we have the blue room, Of course, the red room, which is my personal favorite. And naturally, the white one. In case you're planning to move in though, I have to disappoint you. This place is only reserved for artists and it's not for rent. So, for now, Let's go back down and check out the rest of Vera. This is the chill out area. This is where the performers sit right before they go out on stage. And 
here we are at the most popular part of Vera, the Hrote Zal. This is the place where all the big concerts take place. And it is right on this very stage that the popular bands that I told you about before, U2, Pearl Jam, Nirvana and numerous others have performed. Also, if you look around, you may recognize some of the posters that we have already seen in the poster making room. It's a really nice and cozy place to be. If you want to know more about Vera, make sure to check out my interview with Peter Veining, the owner. You can find it on our YouTube channel. And now, since the concert is being set up here, it's time for us to go, which means we have reached the end of this episode. Hopefully you've learned something, hopefully we'll see you partying here, and if not, then maybe we'll see you in the next episode of Chronic Effect. And for now, I think I deserve a beer. See you next time! It's not simply a concert call. Vera. So they can just catch a break, take a chill. It's time for me to have a beer. It's not an easy job. I feel retarded.